Right, so it's um, Thursday the 30th of December. Um, I've just made a last minute decision to come out over the MED for a couple of hours. No water, I believe it's about 10 o'clock tonight. So um, it's around about 8, half 8 now. So I'll fish a couple of hours down and perhaps one back up. Um, got some uh, ragworm. And a bit squid, that's all I've got today. So um, I've just got um, short two foot pulley rigs and um, we just keep changing them about every 20 minutes or so unless we get a bite. Hopefully I'll bring you back with a fit. So that one's been out for about 10 minutes so far. So I've baited up the next one which is, uh, you can see that, which is ragworm and a squid parcel on my two foot so uh, we're winding this one in, give it another flip, so wind some in, put this one out, and uh, just repeat really until we um, hopefully catch a fish. There was a comp on today, cod comp, that I missed because I was out today, but um, there was only three sizable fish weighed in at 50 angles, so um, I'm not sure why I've come tonight really, there's not much of it, but we'll give it a go, see what happens. So it's always good to get the first one in because um, no bait left on there at all. So that's a good indication that obviously there's crabs and stuff out there, which I don't think is a bad thing. So I think sometimes when you've got your bait down there and crabs are going for it, I think a, a nice cod could come along, scoop up all the crabs and your hook bait. So um, we'll get another bait out there and change them probably about every 10 minutes or so just to keep a judge on it when we bring the next one in in 10 minutes time if that's got a lot of bait left on it with a bigger squid parcel um, I might change to a bit bigger squid parcels again because so, uh, this one was just mainly ragworm with just um, little slivers of squid so um, I've been here for an hour and a half so far no fish at the moment but this was um, as I said earlier it was really a uh, spur of the moment for it the worm was left over from the Bangers and Bean contest we've done a few days ago. Um, I've only really come back because really it's just to thank you lot as well because that's support for us. Because today we hit our thousand subscribers. So um, over the moon with that, we're going to hopefully um, do a few road trips and stuff next year. And we'll obviously take you along for the ride. Um, but back to the fishing tonight, it's uh, been very, very slow. Hold in one crab so far, and that's it. Now, I've got a whole squid out there at the moment. The next bait to go out is going to be a whole just a ragworm bait with a squid head on the uh, bottom hook. And um, that's going to go out over the location. And then we'll probably have another couple of casts as the tide's coming in. And then, so, what happens from there? I'd say this really is just to. Uh, Thank you for the support. Hope you continue watching the, the videos and join them for the next show. So this is the last cast I've got out now with a, with a whole squid on it. Um, we've just, no water's just turned now so it's just um, starting to flood back in. Uh, but this is what cod fishing is in the Bristol Channel. It is very hit and miss and most of the time it's miss. Um, 
my better months usually is end of January, sort of February, March anyway for the for the cod. I seem to try hard for them earlier and earlier every year. I've tried through, I think it was November and December, and um, haven't had one. Um, there is places we could go and probably get some smaller ones, but we're after a half decent one, so uh, that's why we choose places like this. Uh, but again, like I said, this was only really to come out just to celebrate the thousand subscribers. So uh, thanks again for that. Um, bring you back if there is a fish on the end of this. But if not, we'll uh, catch you on the next one.